Welcome to another video and I just wanted to bring in some of my thoughts. It seems like I've been kind of going through the basic motions of beginning play and so this time I wanted to actually focus in on a couple of things. Um, and as, as we advance in this game, obviously there are some limitations. Uh, as you get bigger, more challenges become available, more, uh, more events and more things that you can do. And there are going to be kingdom la labors later that will help bring along your research, which as I've said a million times, research is king. So we're going to bring all of that along quite a bit. And the first thing we're going to start off with is these packs. So I just want to start going through them. Just one at a time. So if you look at this winning start pack, it's 99 cents. And you're going to get three brave hearts, which three times five is 15, right? So if you take one times five, you get five dollars. That's, you know, five, five bucks for 15 is fairly decent. You're going to see a super bonus pack later on in the game. And I do commonly buy that because the brave hearts alone are probably worth it uh, to get your heroes up and get them to a gold level. Excuse me, let me get rid of some of that noise pollution there but it's going to be worth it to get your your heroes up to a gold level especially those ones that you're trying to build up for your war purposes or maybe you're just trying to build up to be the best monster hunter that you can and in either case then you're really going to want to uh, get a hold of stamina however you can so those brave hearts give you 120 stamina for each one and then you're going to cross familiars later that, uh, you know, that's the first thing that you're going to want to do is build up a Quiris who will give you daily stamina. And that's a challenging one to build up, but a worthwhile one to build up. So I am going to purchase this 99 cent pack. And on iPhone, you don't get this, but with Google Play, they add up points now I got the full charge gift as well, which is pretty cool. And we have another full charge gift. So the Rose Knight Special. If you keep on buying gems, you're eventually going to get all these nice Rose Knight things. As long as you do it in the first 13 days, uh, you get nice Rose Knight medals to get your Rose Knight all the way up to, I believe it's purple. Um, but super, super nice. Speaking of which, very briefly, I'm going to cross paths. And I'm going to talk about your hero. And you do want to switch your hero, preferably to Rose Knight if you have her. And if not, then you want to choose somebody that is a good leader for the troops that you're trying to build. And uh, we'll talk more in depth about that another time. But just briefly wanted to cross that because I no noticed I hadn't gotten it done yet. So let's go back to these. And... It's going to recommend how many gems to get out of which packs. This is not a great pack to try and boost how many gems you're going to need to purchase. So you need to buy 5,800 more in order to get these 25 medals. And my goal is going to be to get all the way up because you get 25 there, 25, 25, 25, and 25, 50 even. Uh, these VIPs will also become important. We'll talk about that at a later time as well. But this winning start is real nice. Let's see what else we get now. So now you also can get the big guy for, which gives you 20. You only need 10 medals in order to hire him. And that gives you 10 more, which will get you closer to building him up to the next level, which is green. You also get five brave hearts. So at this point, you're not getting the balance for your brave hearts, but you are getting 5,000 gems. You're getting that extra bonus so you'll get 25 of the rose knight medals plus 20 of the big guy medals and then you'll get a bunch of speed ups now i'm out of i was out of speed ups before i bought that pack so i was halted at growing my construction and i'll go into more detail on that as well here in a second but uh, when you run out of medals or excuse me when you run out of speed ups then you know, you're going to feel like the game's going to go a little bit slower and there's ways to resolve that. If you're a free to 
free to play player, you know, this is where pay to play comes in handy is it's just going to speed up this entire process. If you're free to play, then you want to really rely on your guild members. So you want to join a big enough guild where if you're active, you want active members. And when you press your help button, when you're building something, uh, you, you know, you, it'll pop up and say help here. Or when you click on it, it'll say help. So if I speed this up, let's say, okay, and I get that one. And let me go ahead and upgrade. What else do I need to upgrade? If I want to keep building my castle, I need a level eight mainer. In order to do that, I need a level six mill. mill. Um, actually, I'll need a level eight mill, but... When you start a construction, you get that help button there. Oops. And right here as well. So you can just press help. And if you have guild members, which at this time I do not, then you're going to be able to get help from those guild members. Here's what I bought and what I got. Gave me resources are really good at this stage in time. And in this video, we'll be talking a little bit about those. But I also got the full charge gift for the first Rose Knight. And so if I look at my Rose Knight, I got my Rose Knight. But then I also got that full charge gift. So now I can go over here and I can upgrade. And then when that drops down to seven minutes, I'm going to be able to press fast forward and get that free. Let me pop back in here. And so I don't know if I'm going to end up buying the big guy here, because that's the one big benefit. If I can get to these other metals buying different packs, I might just do that. Every single day, I'm going to buy the 99 cent pack that gives me the mystery box, basically. I might get some of Petite Devil, or I might get some of Witch Doll. But those are only 99 cents, and if you open and you get lucky, you might hit 10 of each of those. Um, a couple of times so keep on buying those P petite devil at 199 is actually going to be a really good deal because later in the game uh, when you start purchasing those packs it's actually going to run you 499 for the same 15 petite devil medals so i'm going to go ahead and also buy that and before i do let's look at the details here because i'm also going to get a relocator I'm going to end up spending a lot of gems on relocation, moving my castle around. So anytime I can get those is a good thing. Um, shield is okay because it's only for four hours. That's not tremendously helpful to me. Speed up research, speed up training. I get 30 of, I get 20 times 30 minutes of each of those. And training is obviously for training soldiers, research speed for specifically research, and then you have general speed ups that you can use on basically any of those things. I, I want to say never, but I, you know, for the sake of this video and for the sake of getting my castle where I need it to be, for example, I need level nine in order to get my T2, my tier two troops. So Right here, I need to get Academy level 9. Well, in order to do that, I could upgrade it to 8 right now, but in order to upgrade it to 9, I need Castle level 9. And so then I need Mainer level 8, and I need this level 8, and so on. And so as you get bigger and closer to Castle 25, more of that will be required, and you're going to have to start upgrading everything on your turf. Like I've told you before, upgrade one thing at a time, uh, but I'm going to digress back into the packs. So I am going to purchase this. That's going to be good. Earn some play points. And then see, again, for $5, normally you only get 15 And you get this little sacred gauntlet, which is going to help with research speed, player experience boost, army capacity. So those are all real good things. I'm going to go ahead and purchase that one as well. Very good. What's cool is, again, not available on iPhone, but on, on Android with the Google Play Store. When you connect, you get points, and eventually you can go into your Google Play Store and get free items for your Lord's, Lord's mobile account. And so that's pretty cool. Um, it's nice to get free stuff. 
So here I'm getting 25 and 20. Normally in later levels, you're going to be able to get 15 for 499 and then for 1999, you're going to be able to only get another, I think it's 15 or 20. I think it's 20 um, of one. So matter of fact, I only think it's 15 if I recall correctly. But in any case, the point is, if you're getting 20 of these plus 25 of these plus I'm getting additional speed ups and I'm getting additional resources, that's probably pretty worth it as well. So I'm going to make that purchase as well. And I won't be doing this every day, but for now, you know, that's pretty nice for me. Um, Sacred Greaves, player experience boost, research speed, travel speed, gold production rate. I mean, that's okay. So in this one, you're getting 25 of each of those and you're starting to lose value. It'd be 40 bucks. If you look at what we just bought for 19.99, we got 20 and 25, I, I think is what I saw there. Um, let's go take a look. Yeah, 20 and 25. So now you're starting to lose the value. It's not really worth that purchase. And this thing isn't so amazing that it's worthwhile. So I would kind of skip over something like that. Um, I don't really care about Songstress of the Sea right now. Uh, it's nice to improve your army attack, defense, and health. So that might be something down the road that you want to get, especially if you want a good army boost. But then you've also got to include her as part of your army. And um, you'll get an army attack boost from Bomb Bombin Goblin, who is a free hero. So I, I don't think I'm going to be purchasing that. That's not something I would really care about. Um, there's a few chests here. So when you defeat monsters, as I mentioned, you get materials. And you'll randomly get some of these materials from the Snow Beast and the maggot chest and the worm chest griffin chest uncommon hero pack what that does is that's going to go to your whole guild and obtainable by all guild members so when you purchase a pack you can go in here and as i've shown you before all these bonus chests are going to appear because these are the things that i'm purchasing you can check or uncheck anonymous i don't care to be anonymous i want people to know what i'm contributing to the guild and for each of these, I'm going to get some guild coins or, you know, something, something, something. Um, each time you get these, you're going to get lots of keys. And those keys help build up right here. Uh, especially if you have 99 members in a guild and everybody's purchasing stuff, these keys fill up real quick and you get a special little... Uh, guild box that everybody gets to open plus it increases your gift level the higher your gift level gets the better gifts that you're going to get so early on at level one you're going to see more resource type items as you open those boxes whether it's the bonus or the guild gift um, from getting from fighting monsters or from buying packs doesn't matter as your gift level goes up you're more likely to receive speed ups and relocators and Things that you'll need like gems, um, but early on you'll just get more resources than anything. And so you kind of improve those ratios as you go. So going back into those gems, very close here. I got collect that. Um, let's see, I've got, I need 7,200 7, more to get that next level gift. And I have 13 days. So I probably will get some this week and then some next week. Uh, let's go ahead and pop down to the next thing. So $4.99, five bucks for six brave hearts. What else are you getting? 50,000 gold, a few speed ups and a little bit of resources, some of those materials. Again, if so if I'm, if I'm looking at black wing chests and I'm like, oh man, I need some of those materials, I might consider it, but probably not. Um, so then I can come over here and look and I can say, okay, um, let's say I want the black wing. I don't remember what it was, but if it was the black wing, I might look at those materials and say, okay, I'm really trying to build X, Y, Z here. I'm really trying to build this 40 level dragon bite, uh, just the first one. And I need those materials. So I can either go and find black wings or I can buy packs that have that stuff in them. And sometimes you'll even see specific packs for specific monsters. 
to me, that's not worth the $4.99 at all. So 10 medals for five bucks again later, you should be getting those 15 medals. Um, I'll have to watch which doll on my other accounts and see if that's true, but you should be hitting about 15 medals for that kind of uh, purchase for a $5 purchase. And then the $20 purchase isn't worth it after the $5 one. You should just keep on buying $5 purchases and get 15 medals at a time. That's what most heroes are. World domination, five bucks. So you get two brave hearts, some energy, resources, and a guild bonus, and then a little bit of a of a player boost. <clears throat> In my opinion, that's not really worth it. So I would skip over that one. Thirty day supply chest for ten bucks. You're going to get a lot of stuff, guys. This is 100% worth it, in my opinion. So, speed up research, general speed ups, you get 6 and 300 respectively. And that's pretty awesome. You're not going to get them all in the same day. And you have to make sure and log in each day to get them or, or, or you lose them. But you get a lot of resources, a lot of speed ups, all for 10 bucks. 100% worth the purchase. So I got that one and that's going to be it for me right now. That's all I can afford or not all I can afford, but that's all that's worth buying in these packs to me. So now let's look at this. I did debate this one and I am going to purchase it because I want more gems and I want to start getting at eating at that um, Rose Knight special. I want to keep on doing that. So I got this. I'm going to collect it. And this right here is actually cool. So when I became castle level 7, and now I'm 8 here, here's that supply bonus, and this is what it looks like. Uh, some, sometimes you get the surprise bonus, which is nice. Um, I'm pretty sure it's every time, but don't quote me, because I think I've seen it once or twice without. So you get a little surprise bonus with this. And these are the materials that I collect each day. So you're not getting straight up 600 uh, research speed ups and 360 minute speed ups, just general speed ups right out the gate. But each day for 30 days, I'm going to get this amount to cover that, uh, that quantity. So I'm going to collect that. I'm also going to collect that. And at Castle 7, you're going to get this. Now, five bucks for... 15 brave hearts as I've talked be talked about before that's a good deal and then on top of that I'm gonna get you know three four five thousand plus gems and then I'm also gonna get a bunch more speed ups and a hundred thousand player experience so all for five bucks that's pretty worth it in my opinion now here in the beginning when you're just starting the game it's it's hit or miss on some of these packs. Uh, they're mostly mostly just okay. Later on, you'll get better packs. And so now, I've gotten all these things. One of the things I want to do is attach my experience boosts wherever I can. Player experience boost, research speed boost, army capacity. Great, great stuff right there. I got these. As you go through and level up your castle in the beginning you can see each level gives you a little something for doing what you're doing and at level five you got construction and ranged attack boosts on the legs and some relocators along the way which are good speed ups are always good but they're kind of you know half a dozen in one six in the other and then level nine what i'll get next is a nice construction and research speed boost which is pretty darn nice requires level player nine which i don't believe i am i'm currently eight and when i use my hundred thousand i will definitely jump up from that player level plus pretty soon here i'm going to attach another boost and i'm going to jump it on here but before i do that what i want to do is go ahead and hop into the turf club 
And this will give you research speed plus 25, construction speed, player experience boost. For 10 bucks a month, Okay, that was weird for a sec. So for 10 bucks a month, you know, I mean, some people will tell you it's not worth it. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. It's pretty nice. And for any month that you continue that subscription also, ooh, my shield has 24 hours. So anytime you purchase that subscription subsequently, um, or consecutively, I should say, uh, so if you, keep on doing it in a row, it should give you, hmm, maybe they took it off. Um, it used to give you a little added gym boost. So every month, if you continued it, it gave you some extra gems. I don't know if they still do that. Doesn't, maybe, it, maybe they stopped that, but that'll speed me up. That'll speed up my player experience boost. And I'm going to go ahead and use I've got all these guys to hire, right? Okay, a couple more things before I move on. Just um, your daily login, your login gifts. Right in the beginning, it's so important to get all seven days because you're just getting these medals and it's going to help advance. Uh, these medals here that I just got today are the reason that I can hire her. But then I see this button over here and I've never seen it before, but... You know, for two bucks, it looks like I can upgrade all three and get all three of those heroes much higher, much quicker. So that's pretty cool to me, and I'm going to go ahead and do it. Boom. So now I've got 10, 10, and yep, gave me everything I wanted out of that. Um, so now I should be able to go down here and... Look at that, all these heroes I can hire. There's no reason not to hire a hero. And quest complete, 10 heroes, 11 heroes. And I'm just gonna go through and hire each of these. And for good reason, I'm not gonna level them up yet. Um, I'm not gonna have you sit here and watch that, but it's nice to have all those because then it adds to the turf quests, which I'm about to use. So I'm gonna go in here, and I'm gonna show you, just before that I'm gonna open everything. So I just bought a bunch of stuff, and I'm gonna open whatever is available for me to open. All right, so everything's open. Everything's what it is for me now. And I'm gonna start collecting these, but right before I do, always add a player experience boost. So I have my player experience boost here. I'm gonna add on this player experience boost for 24 hours. So it costs 2,500 gems out of the 34,000, uh, out of the 36 at the time. Let's see, heroes enhanced. This is what I bought. All right, so now I've got also, aside from this boost going, I have the turf pack that I just purchased, turf club active. So that's 25%, that's 25%, and then another 8% or whatever it was. Uh, let's see, player experience boost, 10%. And I can go in here and I wanna use any of these that I have straight off. So that jumped me up to level 10. And that jumped me up to level 18. So all of a sudden, I'm a level 18. And each time you go up a level, you get these little things, talent points. And as I've mentioned before, research, research, research. So even before I do any other construction, I'm gonna start working my way down here. And if you just click on this, you can say unlock and it'll automatically put two on the previous one or whatever is required. So I think I need five here, level five food. So when I unlock, it's gonna just put five on that food. Or production unlock, construction speed unlock, and finally research unlock. So now I'm at research level two. Once I fill that up, I'll go back through and I'll get construction two first and then construction one. And the reason I go in that order is because 
if you look here, if I fill this up, I get a 65% boost on construction speed two, whereas in construction speed one, I'm only gonna get a 40% boost. So I wanna boost more of what I can first. I always work from the bottom most part of the tree that I can all the way to the top of it. So now I've got those boosts going. And as I've told you, save up these turf quests. I'm doing this for you for example for now, but normally I'd even save it way longer than I've started to. So I'm gonna let these, I'm gonna use them all right now, and then I'm gonna build a lot more for the next time. Because what you're gonna see here very fast is I've gone up to level 18, and then you're gonna see me go to 19, 20, uh, maybe 21, 22. I don't know how many I'm gonna get. But every single thing you do in the game for the first time, like if I get my first farm to level five, it's gonna say, here's a quest or here's a turf quest reward. And if I get a second farm to level five, it's probably not gonna give me that. Or maybe a third or a fourth. I think they actually do give you some up to a certain point. But this is how I grow very quickly in my level. And each time, it's also giving me hearts. You can see these popping up here. These, this stamina gives me one or two at a time. Now, as I get up into the higher stuff, seven, eight, nine, you can see my, my quests. It's giving me more experience each time, and it's gonna give me more stamina each time. So in the beginning, it's not a lot, but then as you keep going, it becomes a lot. And so I'm going to keep on saving these the next time, but this is a good example, as I've mentioned, um, as to why you want to do this. This is, Player level is everything. It's going to make or break what kind of gear you can build. It's going to make or break how high you can get your heroes, what level you can build them up to. When you get to familiars, it's also going to limit what you're able to do with those. Ooh, 27. That's pretty strong for a first round. So from here on out, I'm just going to save those. Now for the next 24 hours, I've got this boost and every single thing I do in the game, including using the stamina, including pretty much everything you can possibly think of in the game. I'm going to be able to um, use that boost and get further faster. So here we go. I just used up, whoop, I guess I should use the rest of these on construction. So as I mentioned, now I'll go to construction. I've only got 15, perfect, that'll end it right there. So now I'm at 20 of 20. All right, so I've got my research boost up. So now uh, my research speed is going way up. And as I do research and as I have the right stuff equipped, this will go a lot faster. If I was to take off all that stuff, um, let's say I want to research here. Research speed plus 138% because of what I just did. So original was one hour 51 minutes. I took off a bunch of time and now it's down to 46 minutes. On my main account, I've got that over 300%. Uh, but you want to get it as high as you can. And what affects research speed is not only that stuff, but it's also this stuff here. So if I get her up, oops, if I upgrade, and I'm just going to speed this along for us, boom. So now she's at green. And when I continue to buy those 99 cent packs, I should be able to get her to purple at least. Now I also have to get her rank up. So I've got to get her level up, get all of the, all of the uh, trophies. See, I can go to 1-3 and I can get some trophies. I can go here and say, okay, you know, let's let's try and get what we can. And then I can equip. I can equip that. I can equip. And let's see if I can get more. Oh, requires hero level 2. So when I click on her, by the way, and I got that, I clicked here and I said, you know, um, Oh, I own both of those, but I need another hero level. Let me go to someone else. None. So I have to go to stage 218 
and when I click on that, it's going to give me, you know, after I beat it, I guess I'm just going to go here to show you. But after I beat it, I can go back to here and normal. So I can use these and it'll automatically give me one or 10 battles in each round. And when I do that, the cool thing is it doesn't, when, when I'm battling in there, it gives my heroes all of their, who, whatever heroes are in, it gives them the experience. But when I do it the way that I just showed you by just doing the auto battle, it gives me the experience down here and I can use it on whoever I want. So I can pop up here and I can say, okay, let's give her all the experience. Boom. Now I am at a point where my hero level, that was the max 15, but now it's, it's up to 27 so I can only bring my hero as high as my player level and I believe I use those yep whoa moving stuff out of the frame on accident okay so when I when I did that right when I get to level two boom all of a sudden, I have a research speed boost. And originally it was 1.25, but I managed to upgrade her to green. Now she's at 2.5. So now I've added on a greater research speed boost. So now when I hop in here and I start to speed things up, boom. I can, let's see, uh, let's go with quick maneuvers. It's only 34 minutes. It's a 141% research speed boost. Your heroes can help you. Your gear can help you. And your talent points can help you get that research speed up. And that's going to be a huge difference in your game because there is just so much research to do. Aside from what you see, you're also going to see uh, new things pop up that I don't believe are available. Let's see. Upgrade... Let me command familiars, familiar battle. Mm, you know, that might be it, but but there's just a tremendous amount in each one of these. You have a lot of things that you want you know, that you're gonna have to do or that you're gonna want to do. I don't even touch defense. I don't do any defense research at all right now. Um, as I've mentioned before, in defense, it's just not worth the time that you're gonna put into it in in comparison to other things that you could be researching. Um, monster hunting, for example, would be one of those things. So that about covers the packs, right? I think that's a pretty good little video and I'm gonna let that resonate. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Give me a comment down in the comment section or come join my guild. Um, I may eventually, if I don't start getting some players in here, I've invited a bunch of people and this kingdom's already seeming to go. So if we look right here at the ranking, you can see players. You know, you've already got somebody here at 144 million might. Uh, the next biggest is 61 million might. By the time this kingdom opens up, it's going to be well over a billion. And um, what I mean by open up is if you look here, you go to the world. There's all these different kingdoms, right? And I'm in this one. And you can see protection ends in 85 days. So this is my kingdom. When you click on a kingdom, it brings you straight to the base. And you can click around anywhere in the kingdom and you can see all these castles. You can see all these guilds. And so you've got, you know, random players like this. And I just, you know, I'm inviting everybody right now. See if I can get my guild going. Sometimes it's challenging because it's a little too far. And that's why I'm showing you this is that there's a lot of guilds and some of these guilds are already very strong. So you've got a guild with almost a billion might and players. And if you look at that guild, you can see the might ranking and you can see that's where the, the number one person is. And then even beneath them, they've got several players with millions each. Um, I think they say three million is kind of their bottom, but they might have one or two. Let's see. Yep, three million is supposed to be their bottom. So if I get over three million, I might be able to go join this guild. And if I can't get one rolling, I probably will join a strong guild so that I can 
have fun with the game and go out there and attack people and get good gifts and help them build um, all of that good stuff they might even have experience like i do like i've mentioned before so i think that's a, a good video here i'm gonna let that stuff resonate with you i'm gonna keep on building and i will catch you guys next time see ya